Mary Meet, Annie here. Welcome to Monday on Pagan Perspective. Our topic this week came from Fiara, who is asking us, how do you feel about the distinction between soft and hard polytheism? How about between monotheism and soft polytheism? Are these distinctions important to you? When Kara first sent this out, I thought, no, the distinctions are not important to me. I think I will offer this week up to one of our wonderful subs to take for me, because maybe they have a stronger feeling about this. I took a moment then to do some surfing, because, in all honesty, I have no problems admitting I have never heard the distinction between hard and soft polytheism. So I had to go and do some reading and see what that conversation was about, and Fiora, thank you. Very interesting. Now from what I'm reading, hard polytheism is what I've always considered polytheism to believe, be, which is the belief in separate, individual, unique gods. And it seems somewhere along the way there were folks who said they were polytheists who believed that, well, maybe they aren't such separate and unique and individual gods. Perhaps they are the faces, the archetypes, that we use to try and understand the wholeness of divinity. They claimed they were polytheist, so they were given the term soft polytheists. I don't know if they chose that themselves or it was given to them. I found that very interesting. To me, you're either a polytheist or you're not. And from the descriptions of soft polytheism, I was saying it seemed like monotheism with the thinking person's ability to say that we use archetype, we use tools to have our psyche understand and relate to the mystery of divinity by putting various faces, various archetypes, layering it on over the one thing so that we have ability to comprehend even some small parts of it here and there. I'm all for that, but why would that be considered polytheism? Do soft polytheists believe they are polytheists? Or is this some term that someone else has applied to what they see and what they think some people believe? So I found it very interesting. Now the only answer I'm going to get, which is why I wanted to post this video, is if you're watching and you consider yourself to be a soft polytheist, ignore the description I just came up with by what I read. I would like to know what you hold for the meaning of what a soft polytheist is. Now it seemed when I was reading that the comments about soft polytheists were in general pretty derogatory. So I found it all a very interesting topic. Now Fiore asks the distinction between monotheism and polytheism, or monotheism and specifically soft polytheism. Now as you can tell, I, I couldn't tell the difference. To me, soft polytheism in those definitions that I found was monotheism. So I'm interested in why did that have to be called soft polytheism? Are we uncomfortable with the idea of monotheism? Does it connect us to religions of our past that we want to move away from? So I'm interested in how that came to be. All these theisms can be interesting, but in general I stay away from them. I certainly studied all of them. Not all of the terms actually existed when I was young and studying them for the first time. I studied them because I wanted to know all the options on how throughout time and history and place people had chosen to relate to the divine. I would have said probably for a good part of my life that I was a pantheist. I saw the divine in everything around me. Everything divine. And there's a little bit of the soft polytheist in that because I believed in the gods and goddesses that we chose to relate to as being faces of that divine force that moved within all things and all of us, a way to look them literally in the face. Whether those gods and goddesses were human or took animal form, it was a way to make eye contact and understand some small part of mystery. Over the last 10 years or so, I would say that there is one of the theisms that describes more accurately what my spirituality is, and it's panentheism, not pantheism, panentheism, which is the concept that all things are equally divine, that that divine force, whatever that is, is equal and present within everything that exists, that which we see and understand, and the invisible and the unknowable, all 
equally divine. But a panentheist believes that, in addition to that, the force which one might see as creation and return, which is the way I look at it, what is the source of existence and the return at the end of existence, is separate and sentient in its own right. Separate from this wholeness, which is the divine in the world, is a separate and sentient divine entity. A panentheist, and that is indeed how I feel. It does indeed, in a certain way, make me a form of monotheist. <laughs> is there such a thing as a soft monotheist? I don't know if there's that word or not. I didn't Google that to find that out. But it's someone who believes that there is a force, the force of creation, of unity, the force of transformation and return that is separate and importantly sentient in its own right, distinct from everything else which exists. And then there is everything else in its wholeness, divine in its own right. Would that be soft monotheism? what I know of as panentheism. All these theisms can put your head in a spin. But Fiora, I am glad I didn't give up on this conversation when I first saw it from Kara and think, nope, the distinctions aren't important to me, end of discussion. When I started reading into a little bit, I found that there is a, an abundance of new terms and new interpretations of the things that I would have known as certain words and definitions when I first studied all the theisms that were available to us. And indeed, there are new theisms every day popping up in the world. I am particularly interested to hear if we have anyone watching who considers themselves a soft polytheist, regardless of that description that I came just from reading here and there throughout the internet. How would you describe what you believe in? And is it different then monotheism and how? Very interested to hear from those who actually would call themselves a soft polytheist to know what does it mean to you. Very interesting topic. I wish you all mirth and reverence. Merry part.